Thank you for joining me for this sound bath and meditation practice. My name is Sean Moore, and I create sacred space for self-inquiry and personal discovery. As we prepare for this practice, I'll ask two things of you. One, make sure that you connect to headphones or connect to some other sort of audio output device, maybe like a speaker system, just to allow for the most immersive sort of sound experience possible. The second thing I'll ask of you is to make sure that you're comfortable. So this is a deep relaxation practice. So you want to grab all the things that can make you comfortable, some pillows, maybe a blanket, an eye mask if you have that. You want to grab all the props to help support your rest. So if you need to pause for a minute and go grab those things, feel free to do so. And also make a ritual out of this experience. So if you have an altar or you light incense, you do aromatherapy, do all the things to invite in that deep sense of rest and relaxation. Now, as we move into today's practice, I want to give you a sort of a roadmap of what the experience will be and what that will look like. That roadmap being, we'll begin with a bit of a meditation and deep relaxation sort of prompt that'll get us into our physical body that will allow us to be restful in this moment. And then we'll move into integrating the sound into our experience. And that'll be sounds from um, our quartz crystal bowls, our Himalayan bowls, and some chimes that'll help accentuate some of that sound. At the end, there will be an extended amount of silence anywhere between three to four minutes of silence just know that that's okay and that's part of the practice and the experience just allow yourself to rest in the in the silence uh, because it creates space for integration all right um, and at the back end of that silence i'll guide us out with my voice and hopefully you'll move into the rest of your day with a greater sense of peace clarity and freedom now, one of the important pieces when it comes to sound healing and sound meditation practices is that we set an intention. And I want to offer you an intention from my chakra deck um, that I pulled that really still resonates with the theme that we've been working with around our root chakra um, and being rooted and grounded in this particular space. Now, this theme or this affirmation that we'll share for today's practice is this. I am grounded and safe in my body's innate wisdom. I'll read that one more time. I am grounded and safe in my body's innate wisdom. And so at any point in the practice, our mind wanders. We have this intention, this affirmation to direct our energy and awareness to. And so allow yourself to rest with that intention as we begin our practice. All right. So whatever posture or shape you decide to take for today's practice, just take a moment to get yourself there. moving to or inviting in a sense of stillness, easefulness. If it feels okay for you in this moment, blink the eyes closed or soften your gaze and rest your vision on an object that might be a little bit in front of you. But in this gesture, we take a moment to just soften our sensory experience. Or better yet, redirect. Because we'll bring our awareness to the points of the body that connect to the earth. That are in direct relationship to the earth. Whether you're seated upright, maybe you notice where the sit bones and the lower body make that connection. And if you're resting gently on your back or a more restorative shape, maybe you notice the back line of the body and the points in which make that gentle connection to the earth. But just allow yourself to ground gently. Maybe even to the point where you start to notice that there's a rooting, there's a connection. Maybe you even visualize roots connecting you to all of those points of the body, just noticing those roots connecting with the earth and allowing you to gently release and be softer, gentler in this moment. Maybe each exhale creates a point that those roots reach deeper into the earth. Serving as a sort of foundation for today's practice. 
starting to blend us with the earth that's supporting us in today's practice. And just take a moment to bring your awareness to the soles of the feet. And we'll move to each point of the body, each point of the body creating a different access point to soften into the practice. So awareness moving gently to the soles of the feet, softening, relaxing. Awareness at the ankles. the shins, the calves, awareness gently in the knees, the hips, softening, releasing, rooting deeper. The base of the spine, the belly, softening around the core, softening around the ribs, the center of the chest. Awareness right at the tips of the fingers, the palms of the hands, the wrists. Awareness gently at the elbows, the shoulders. The base of the neck, softening gently in the face, releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth, softening, releasing the jaw, softening around the temples, the space between the brow the crown of the head and just noticing the body maybe there's a different awareness that's happening in the body and as we think about our connection with the body maybe the more and more we give it space to just be the more and more we strengthen that innate trust that connection And so just notice your breath. Maybe you notice an easefulness in the breath. Just allow the breath to flow effortlessly. Letting the body take over in a system in our experience that can flow so naturally. The breath has its own intelligence, its own way of knowing. And so as we start to bring sound into our practice and our experience, just remember, I'll share our affirmation that we'll hold in this practice one more time. That affirmation being, I am grounded and safe in my body's innate wisdom. So if the mind wonders, and when it does, let's just say when it does, because that's what the mind does. Come back to the flow of the breath. Come back to the affirmation or intention that we've set for today's practice. And then also allow yourself to come back to the vibration, the sounds of the instrument that will be played in our experience. So create space just to rest effortlessly.
and just allow yourself to rest gently in the silence for the next three minutes. And wherever you are, start to deepen your breath. Just take a moment to inhale deeply, fully, expansively, taking some time to expand in the belly, expand in the ribs, expanding in the chest. And at the top of that inhale, open the mouth and audibly exhale out. Take two more at your own pace. Now, if you have additional time and space, just allow yourself to continue to rest, to be here, present in this moment, cultivated, rooted. If you need to move on with the rest of your day, just take the next few moments to bring some gentle, easeful movement in your body. This is where we start to trust that wisdom that we spoke of in our affirmation for the practice and just notice what movements the body needs to take and if this is maybe 
Maybe you've experienced this practice a few times. Maybe there's a different range of movement that you take. Maybe you start on one side and the side that you normally start on today, you start on the opposite side. But just give yourself space to explore. But we listen to what the body needs. And if you're resting in a more restorative shape, just allow yourself to roll to your left or your right side and gently press up to a nice, comfortable seat. Still keeping the eyes closed, bringing the hands together at heart center, pressing the palms together, allowing the chest to rise to meet the back of the thumbs. And just thank yourself for showing up for today's practice for pouring back into yourself. And just take a moment to rub the hands together, generating that love, light, that heat, that energy between the palms. And when you feel that warmth, rest your hands on a part of your body that needs it. Again, listening to that innate wisdom and breathe deeply into that space. And as we close out, I'll read to you a quote from Young Pueblo that says, true power is living the realization that you are your own healer, hero, and leader. I want to say thank you all for allowing me to hold space in this practice for you. It's the wisdom and compassion in me, honors, acknowledges, loves, the wisdom and compassion in everyone that my voice has the privilege to reach through this practice. May you move into the day with a greater sense of peace, clarity, and freedom.